Mother and father accused of starving their three-year-old son to death, then putting his body in a toy box. Today in Pima County jury is now pouring over testimony and evidence in the trial of Raquel Barreras. Nine on your sides, Cody Sheever joins us live outside the courthouse. Now, Cody, what can you tell us more about the closing statements? Pat, Val, day eight of the trial saw both the prosecution and the defense finish their closing arguments in the trial of Raquel Barreras. Now, the prosecution did go first, and that's when they gave their statement emphasizing the circumstances that led up to Roman's death. They highlighted to the jury that Raquel, who assumed care for Roman, did not let anyone care for him, did not let anyone play for him, did not even let anyone feed her son. And at two years old, his body was significantly smaller and thinner than other kids his age. The defense reminding the jury that Raquel allegedly starved her son and was the architect of the boy's torture chamber that ultimately led to the boy's death. To rebuke these claims, the defense told the jury that the prosecution found an easy target to blame, saying that Raquel was addicted to drugs and living in poverty. Barrera's attorney said she did feed Roman and that at the time, Roman might have had cancer, and that led to his weight loss and could have been the reason he died. The defense argued that the facts presented in this case were only the ones that appeal to emotion, and the jury needs to consider the evidence consider the law before making their decision. She failed over and over again. And you know that she chose because she kept telling people. She argued with them. She chose not to feed him. She chose not to allow other people to feed him. The state knows that you cannot conclude beyond a reasonable doubt that their theory as to why this child died is a valid theory. Now, the verdict is expected soon, whether that be Friday or Monday. And Roman's father, Martine, is scheduled to go on trial for first-degree murder as well later this summer. For now, though, in Tucson, Cody Sheever, Kagan 9, on your side. All right, thank you.